Good morning. Happy Labor Day weekend. Everyone have a safe and happy holiday. I'm in the greenhouse here at Earthworks and I just wanted to go over some of the new arrivals uh, that we received in over the past week. We'll start over. Everyone pretty much knows the common name Sansevieria, the mother-in-law's tongue or the snake plant. We have multiple colors, the green with a little variegated light green, uh, marginata, and then we've got the yellow one down here, which is called Yellowstone. I've never personally seen this one, so it's a really nice one. And then we have another one uh, we're sold out of now called Moonlight. It's a, kind of a creamy white one. So come in Earthworks in the greenhouse and you'll see multiple varieties of the San Severia uh, that you normally don't see at any other place or your common box store, which makes us stand out. Let me show you over here to the right. There's other varieties. Dwarf, Samurai. So any of these, this is called the moonshine, as hence the name, you can see a little kind of white hue to the foliage. But any of these plants will work great as indoor plants in an office. Uh, you see them in malls and planter boxes. They make good gifts for desktop plants in an office and also outside in the lanai. Or they can grow you know, under the understory of a canopy of, of uh, hardwood trees or palms. And we'll make our way around here to the succulent section. We also have various cacti, succulents, Haworthia, uh, very beautiful, what I've never seen in person before, Flapjack Calancho variegata, variegated version. I have the green, but I don't have the variegated, but that's uh, really unique. You get a splash of four or five different colors here. Uh, hanging baskets, night blooming cirrus cactus. Then we have the rubber tree. These will come in four colors, uh, make a good house plant. By the way, just because we're in the greenhouse, I get this question asked quite often from clients that come in here. It uh, doesn't necessarily need, mean they need to be in shade. These are raised in hot houses uh, in the tree farms where the growers produce them and grow them, but they can acclimate. Uh, you don't want to take buy a plant in here and put it out initially in eight hours of hot sun. When you first take it home, you want to acclimate it. But you know, a lot of these uh, succulents and cacti, uh, they're rated for full sun in the desert. Oh, really unique Dracaena. We only get them in a few times a year. This is called Dracaena Singapore Twist. Uh, and they go very fast, but you can see how the plane of the leaves that come out of the trunk, they start to twist from right to left here. But that's uh, really an another good house plan on the lanai, in indoors, by your swimming pool, your barbecue, outdoor eating area. Dracaena Singapore Twist. This is another one. Song of India gives a splash of variegated color. Defenbachia, false aurelia. This is called the Afro plant. It's a good hanging basket. Of course, we do carry bromeliads. Sometimes we have a more a, a larger uh, selection right now. We're just limited to this, but always check back with us. Uh, this is the fiddle leaf ficus, fiddle leaf fig in a small four inch starter plant. And then uh, of course this beautiful Colorama Dracaena. So there's quite a bit of plants, you know, you could place in big decorative pots on either side of your uh, entrance to your front door or your pool or your garage. And then we'll bring you over here to our fern section. Kangaroo paw fern, really unique. People that like unique plants. You can see the little hairs on the rhizomes. And then this is called a hare's foot hanging basket fern. Usually with ferns too, uh, they like to be moist. They don't like to dry out for, they won't mind drying out, but for extended period of time. So you could always miss them if you have them uh, on a carport or lanai or an indoor plant, you come in and miss them. But they don't need to be watered heavily every day like most other plants. Uh, and then these are really unique. Boy, the uh, stock of these have gone down. We had two different colors the other day and they're gone, but Galathea, a really unique plant. Uh, these are hot sellers. Underside, uh, burgundy and cream, and then the top is a lime green and a deep forest green. A uh, very good interior plant or low light plant. And I want to show you one more. Also, yuccas. Now these are, YUCCA are very common. These are started 
So they'll need a little time to acclimate to the full sun, but they can just sit out in full blast sun, uh, native to Mexico. And then lastly, I wanted to show you the Prince of Orange philodendron. Very beautiful. The new leaves come out red and they change to orange and green and the stems are red, but uh, also another great seller. People just love the splash of color in the foliage without having a bloom, but uh, that's, that's a beauty. Look at the color on that. I'll put it in the sun. So come on into Earthworks and uh, ask one of our employees to tell you about the plants we have in the greenhouse. Uh, we are closed on Labor Day, but we'll reopen on uh, Tuesday, September 8th at 8 o'clock. And my name is David. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and give us a thumbs up. Have a nice day.